think in New Mexico, uh, a lot of folks were into this kind of music uh, for, and have been for a long time. So for me, it was part of something like in my elementary school and in my middle school, it's just also what people were listening to. And I just never grew out of it, I've stuck with it. It's actually very empowering. Uh, it's all about facing your challenges on your own terms and overcoming them. And that's a very powerful message. It's something that's gotten me through tough times in life. It's something that even continues to inspire me. You go to a metal show, you will see young, old, folks from every race and ethnicity, uh, and women. And so uh, metal is not what people often think it is. The culture, it's something very, very unique. Uh, I think it's a shared experience that you have with the band where it's very active, it's very physical. It's also usually pretty hot because uh, you're packing in a lot of uh, bodies intensely. But you feel the energy and I feel you, you feel the strength from each other and from the band. You're actually lifting each other up, I think, in many ways, uh, even though sometimes you get knocked down in the pit. And the bands notice it when they come here, they're like, wow, like Albuquerque is into this. You think about music in New Mexico, we have lots of our own traditional musics. Metal is a piece of that. It's something that actually is always stuck in Albuquerque. And I think it has to do with, in many ways, the way it honors and is connected to our history. And it's about, you know, you gotta stand up for yourself and understand where you come from and what you believe in. And that kind of powerful message resonates a lot.